Might be why you're struggling to stay awake because you got too much sleep. Ah, how about that? Okay, so if that urge to sleep, though, is overwhelming and irresistible, it may be because of something called narcolepsy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I recently caught up with Dr. Raj to find out the facts and myths of narcolepsy. Take a look. So let's talk about what is narcolepsy. It's a chronic sleep disorder. It's something that affects 200,000 Americans in the United States. And the sad part about this disorder is that there's a 10 year delay in making the accurate diagnosis. And let me jump into what you're asking me, which said there is a difference between being excessively sleepy and fatigued. Fatigue can have many different causes, but sleepiness, I think you should see a sleep doctor to make sure we're not missing something serious. That's why I teamed up with Jazz Pharmaceuticals and have this website called morethantired.com to make sure you're screened for excessive sleepiness and maybe you may have narcolepsy and it also puts you in the right direction to get the correct diagnosis. Why do you think it's taken more than 10 years for a lot of people to know that they have narcolepsy? What do you think behind the delay? Oh, this is a great question. It's because it mimics other disorders. So let me just name a few of them. Depression, anxiety. Sometimes because the way narcolepsy presents with something called cataplexy, which is this loss of muscle tone where you see this exaggerated Hollywood-like someone flopping their head in the cereal bowl, which is not accurate, let me just say that, is it gets confused with things like epilepsy, then younger people ADD. So because it's a mimicker of other diseases sometimes, because we don't have all the right information, this is why we need to raise awareness. This is why we have screening on our website, morethantired.com. Okay, so what are some of the symptoms other than being tired that would lead one to perhaps go to the website, see if they are indeed you know, a mm -hmm. possible sure. uh, victim, if you will, of suffering from narcolepsy? <laughs> Yes, yes. So let me talk about the big three. So the most common reason why people see me is excessive daytime sleepiness. That's debilitating when they're at work, when they're at home. Also, nighttime. There is this stereotype that people with narcolepsy are sleeping all the time, which is not true. At nighttime, they have multiple arousals because narcolepsy is a dysregulation of the sleep and wake cycles. And then the third part is these accessory symptoms. Things like sleep paralysis. And many people across the United States and the world has had sleep paralysis. It's scary. It doesn't mean you have narcolepsy, but it could be one of those symptoms. You could have visual hallucinations that could be very scary. But let's go back to that cataplexy again, this loss of muscle control with intense emotions like laughter and being scared. Those are the things that narcolepsy presents like. Not all at the same time, but that's why you need to get the correct diagnosis. And what do you find on the website morethantired.com? Is there a quiz that you're taking? How, how does that lead you then to the next step to potentially talk to a physician? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's a quiz. I don't want to intimidate anyone from going to the website, but it's going to be a screening questionnaire. So they're going to screen you for two things. Number one, are you excessively sleepy? And number two, do you have things in that may indicate narcolepsy? And then once you taken these questions, they can put you in the right direction to find the appropriate physician that treats narcolepsy. And last but not least, how important is it for somebody who might be yeah. suffering from narcolepsy to receive help? Well, in general, I think sleep disorders go under the table. And when we talk about narcolepsy, which affects those 200,000 Americans, that we have to lower that delay of 10 years. It could affect your lifestyle. It could f affect family relations. It's so important. And if I wouldn't believe so much in it, I wouldn't be here raising awareness. Yeah, and some people might not even know that that is what's behind all of it. It's just getting, as you say, raising the awareness you for it. You said it. Doing something about you it. You said Raj, it. We ran out of time. Thank you so much for being here. Morethantired.com oh. for more information. We appreciate you. Enjoy sunny Southern California. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you again. He woke up really early the other day to talk to us about that. And thanks to Jazz Pharmaceuticals for making pharmaceuticals <laughs> for making that happen. He's kind of slurred it all together. It all came out <laughs> in one big word. He's got to slow down and articulate. Well, that wraps slow it up it for, for a hump day. Yes, uh, sir. Nice tomorrow, you're going to have a good day, right? Because Tomorrow's tomorrow is great. what? Draft day? It's going to be. Tomorrow's draft day. And that's where we get to find out which player is going to join <laughs> our sadness. Ten years of sadness, folks. Hopefully it ends tomorrow with with some really good draft picks, but let's be honest, it probably won't. Okay, well, stay tuned for that. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.